In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to play fusion, think jazz rock, with a sandwich. Hi, my name is David. Welcome to this channel, which is all about helping you develop your musical personality on the instrument. Today, we're looking at a concept called the sandwich concept. Yes, again, I made it up. Stick with it. We're going to use a backing track today and we're gonna build sandwiches over this backing track. Here's the track. Now this track is kind of a funky thing, an F-sharp Dorian. You can also use F-sharp minor pentatonic. And um, at the core of a sandwich is the meat. That's the most important thing. The meat is what satisfies you. The meat is what tells you, okay, I am fed. In music, the meat, in this context, are gonna be the notes of the scale that are used over this. So we're in F-sharp Dorian, therefore we have several pieces of meat. We have seven of them. These are the pieces of meat that we have. Okay, you play those all over the fretboard. And you're always going to be satisfied with a piece of meat with notes that are part of the scale. That scale has in common the notes that I'm playing but also the notes that I found in the chord, in the chord progression that I'm playing over. So that's the meat. Now, we don't just have a piece of meat and a sandwich. We also have bread, and that's really what we're looking at. So we're going to surround the meat with pieces of bread. So how does it work? It works like this. If we have a piece of meat, in this case, let's say that uh, we'll play the second string fifth fret, which is a piece of meat because it's part of the F sharp, Dorian scale, that piece of meat is going to be surrounded by pieces of bread. So a piece of bread just before, one fret below, and a piece of bread just after. Okay, now we're going to start with the, the bottom layer, the bottom bun, the top bun, and then the meat. That's going to be our rule. So that's how we're going to eat our sandwich. Start from the bottom, then the top, and then bam, be satisfied with the middle. That means that we can build a lot of sandwiches, right? Because we have seven pieces of meat, we could build seven different sandwiches. Let's build them. Now, for those of you who don't know the F-sharp Dorian scale, or if you need a little bit of help, well, below there's a link that'll take you to the sign-up page. Don't do it now, watch this whole video first, but at the end of the video, sign up. It's completely free. You'll get access to this backing track, the charts for this lesson, and also, you will get access to all the assets for most of the videos on the channel. And, and to date, we're at 1,300 something lessons. There is a lot of lessons on there. It's free, the link is below. But for now, just stick with me till the end, okay? So we have seven pieces of meat, therefore we have seven sandwiches. Let's build them and it's the first octave. I'll, I'll show you a close up here. Here is the, um, the position we're gonna use here, starting on the low E string. We have frets two, four, five. On the, the next string, we have frets two, four. And then on the next one, we have one, two, four. Okay, so that's the first octave of F sharp Dorian. First sandwich we can build is the one that is using that first piece of meat here on the second fret. So remember, we're starting with the bottom layer, top layer, and then the meat. Okay, so if I, if I play this sandwich over the track, this is what we have. Here's our track. Okay, I play the sandwich. We can do the same thing from the second piece of meat, right? Which is, in this case, on the sixth string, fourth fret. Here's my sandwich. Now, if I just eat the bread, ooh, I'm left with kind of a stomach ache, right? I need something to satisfy me. I'm still hungry. Well, let's try the, the top piece of bread. That happens to also be a piece of meat, but here's my real piece of meat. And so forth, we can build a lot of different sandwiches. Obviously, we're not just going to play with sandwiches. It would sound kind of like that, kind of scholar, but that's the concept. Now, how do we apply this musically? Well, we go back to the way you were playing before you heard of the sandwich method, which might be pentatonic. 
pentatonic world. And that's awesome. That's kind of what I would do. So over track on this, I could use F sharp minor pentatonic minor blues. All my licks are gonna work. Every once in a while I can add some of these Dorian notes. And we'll try a salmon. That was a bad sandwich there in the middle, but you get the idea? So that's what I have for you today. I encourage you to explore this and, and see what you can come up with. You probably first will sound very, um, very much like uh, <laughs> your first day at Subway, if you know Subway sandwiches, making sandwiches with all the recipes, you're like, oh, that's not working. But after you know a few days and the line, I used to work at Subway, that's why I know all that. You'll make uh, those sandwiches like that. You won't even need to look at the recipes and, and you'll incorporate that with your own playing. Even be a little creative sometimes. Add a little more um, avocado or something. All right, enough of these analogies. I think the concept is fun. I hope you find it fun too. If this was your first visit, please subscribe if you liked what you saw. If not, don't bother, but subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon. That way you'll be notified whenever a new video comes up. And uh, also remember that I do have the assets for this lesson, the backing track, the charts, and you also get access to many other videos on the channel for free. The link is below. Check it out. I'll be back soon with more videos. Thank you for your attention. Go build sandwiches. I'll see you next time. Kind of hungry now. <laughs>